COVID-19 is teaching us some hard life lessons, but when it comes to resilience, the best teachers are the people who have already lived through events that rock the world. It was a war zone and people had real guns and real bullets and it was fairly full on. It was an extremely stressful time. The military is a very thorough training regime. They put a lot of effort into their training and so people learn how to to cope with stress. Very early in our childhood, the family had to flee from our homeland in Hungary. On many occasions, we had to leave the train and hide in the bushes because we didn't know how close the bombs would come. But fortunately, we survived and we came to this country and we landed in, in Melbourne with two suitcases and five people. I was uh, involved with the Vietnam War. I was there for three months and my father suicided back in Australia, so I had to come home for him. Even when you think nobody cares about you and your situation, there are people that can help. Well, I think when you've been through so many hard, such a hard time, it builds up your resilience to challenges in life and it makes you much stronger to cope with anything you have to face up to. COVID-19, this one has us all in its sights. We must listen to the experts and work together. Respect, responsibility and kindness to yourself, your community and to others. Remember, you're not alone. In this country, there's always somebody to help. We've seen a lot, that's for sure. Resilience expert Heidi Denning joins us now. Uh, from Sydney, good morning to you, Heidi. Well, they might not be um, as physically resilient, but our elderly sure are mentally tough. Is it a case of just being older and wiser? Well, I suppose back there is a little bit of that. But, of course, you know, when you have had got, you have gone through so many adversities already and have already had to pick yourself up and keep on going and, and, and make a life for yourself, we know that by doing that, our resilience muscle grows just a little bit more every single time. And that's why we have so much to learn from the older generations because they have already done it before now. Interesting way you put that, your resilience muscle. Why is it such an important life skill? And, and we're not born with it. This is something we learn. Well, we, we do have a bit of a, a genetic part to us on how resilient we're going to be, depending on our mum and dad and how we've been brought up. But it is those events that we have in our life and how we've decided to respond to them, the, the behaviours we have in response to the events and the thoughts that we have in, the, the, in response to these events. And each time that we make that proactive decision to try to navigate through challenging times, challenging times just like these ones, we are getting a little stronger and our resilience muscle is growing. Heidi, there's no doubt that through COVID-19 it has been a very difficult time for many people. Um, but some would argue that, you know, being in a concentration camp in Nazi Germany just doesn't compare to what we've gone through. Would you agree with that or do you, do you think that um, it, it, it's all relative? It is all relative and... and this is the thing, we keep building on our resilience depending on what we've already experienced. And for some people right now, this is the most challenging thing they've ever had to go through. So it is, a, you know, something that we, we can't dismiss. But I think that's why if we can reach out to our resilient oldies and find out what they have learned from the adversities they've already overcome and find out how they have been able to reach for the silver linings and, and get that new perspective and navigate through the challenging times, then we can learn from that. So is that your number one tip to reach out to the oldies or have you got some more tips for us to be more resilient, to improve our resilience? Yeah, well, the number one thing is definitely to reach out to oldies because it is a win-win. You know, a lot of them are very lonely right now and they would love to be able to share their stories. But the other tip that I have is certainly, you know, put some social media boundaries around what you are doing every day. Stop comparing yourself with others who are saying that they are cruising through this time because I can assure you right now they are embellishing that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Find the positive things in your life. You know, surround yourself with people and podcasts and books and documentary 
documentaries that fuel your brain and body, not deplete it. Uh, get out into nature, you know, feel the sun on your back, feel the wind in your hair, listen to the birds. All these things help build our resilience. Terrific. Uh, find terrific. joy. Find joy. You know, what are the things that make you giggle and laugh out loud and fill you up? I mean, crank up that music in your lounge room and get your groove on. And have a dance <laughs> and a sing in the car. I like your advice, Heidi. Thank, Thank you very much. And uh, we have got a lot to learn from our oldies, that's for sure. Thanks for joining us this morning, oh, Heidi. Boy, I can't wait to just get out there and do all that stuff. <laughs> <I know. laughs> what Good a great advice. chat.